So I woke up at 1 a.m. and the power was out, and it is now almost. Oh, it is 4 a.m. and the power is still out. So now I'm gonna go find McDonald's, 24-hour McDonald's. It's 4:15, uh, so they should be serving the breakfast menu right about now. So uh, let's talk about World War Z, huh? Are you okay? It's actually pretty intense. Probably about as intense as it, as it could have been for a PG-13 film. Because they didn't show any grizzly zombie violence that you would typically find in a zombie movie. So the movie is Brad Pitt. is he's, He used to work for the UN. Uh, he's in traffic when everything starts to go down, when the outbreak happens. So I think his former boss calls him up says, Hey, we need you to uh, help us find the cause and possible like cure. So he does that, leaves his family on some ship and goes off to like Korea, uh, Israel and uh, eventually I think what Wales or something, I don't know, I forgot. So then basically wherever he goes, shit goes down. Everything's fine, Brad Pitt comes, shit goes down. The movie is for the most part pretty good. I didn't like his family though because they seem to serve no purpose other than to uh, give him something to fight for but in like there's even a scene where Brad Pitt's wife almost gets him killed because she decides to call him at a really bad time so I don't know to me his family and his kids were just more annoying than like purposeful to the storyline and there were some unintentionally funny moments in the movies particularly when they like had close-ups of the zombies they would all be like twitchy and, and shit and the audience was just like laughing at them so it, I don't know, it kind of took out, took, took me out of the film as well because I was also laughing. The ending is pretty underwhelming as well because it's basically just a montage of the things that happen after the events in the movie which is okay but it didn't really feel as fleshed out as it could have been. Despite that though, World War Z is still a pretty good movie. Uh, I would say it's a solid buy. Uh, definitely a download or a rent at least. It's like the kind of movie you put in the background. Oh shit! Oh my god, I almost ran over a dog. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, definitely a solid download. It's the kind of movie you put in the background of your TV or whatever when you're doing work or other things. Uh, I'm not gonna do any of the numerical ratings anymore. I'm gonna stop with that. I'm just gonna say buy it, rent it, or F it. And I think those are pretty self-explanatory. Hi, morning. Hi, morning. Uh, can I get five sausage McMuffin with egg a la carte? Sausage McMuffin with egg a la carte? Mm -hmm. okay. Five, yeah? Just uh, one? Yeah. Can you have five baguettes and this thing? Oh, no, no, sorry. I, I wanted five orders. Sorry? Uh, I wanted five. Huh? I wanted five orders. Five. Yes. First, so the same thing we ate, eh? Yes. A la carte? Yes. Okay. That's all? Yes. 25, 95? Okay, thanks. So, yeah, if you're not tired of the zombie movies yet, you should definitely check out World War Z. But if zombie movies aren't really your thing, or if you're tired out by all the uh, zombie TV shows and movies that have been coming out lately, then maybe you can just go uh, rent it or download it when it comes out on DVD or something. But yeah, World War Z, not a bad film at all.